In today's video, we're gonna be covering the one sample Wilcoxon signed ring test in Python. We're gonna be going over a few different examples, including a manual calculation, and then a shortcut with the help of SciPy. But before we jump into the Python code, I wanna go over a lot more information about this test and when you wanna use it. All right, so let's take a look at the one sample Wilcoxon signed ring test. Uh, first, this is a non-parametric t-test used to compare the median of a single sample to a hypothesized median. Uh, this is very similar to the simple t-test. Uh, the simple t-test, though, is going to be using the mean. Also, when you use the one sample Wilcoxon signed ring test, right, we, uh, uh, we don't have to assume normality, whereas the simple t-test, we have to meet that condition to use it. So uh, the data for this should come from a single sample and should be either continuous or ordinal. And because this is based around the median, uh, the one sample Wilcoxon signed ring test is more robust to outliers than like the simple t-test. Now, in the videos on the channel, I've talked about the Shapiro-Wilk. Uh, you can use that test for normality. So uh, look at Shapiro-Wilk and then determine if you want to run the simple t-test or the one sample Wilcoxon. But you can still run the one sample Wilcoxon even if it is normally distributed, although typically doesn't happen. You just use a simple t-test. So the null hypothesis, the median of the sample equals the hypothesized median. Uh, there's alternative hypothesis, right? The median of the sample is not equal. And there's oh, two and also one-tailed options. Two-tailed is the median of the sample is not equal. And then one-tailed is either greater than or less than, depending on the direction. So here's the steps. So first, and this is the optional set, take a look at the Shapiro-Wilk if it's uh, normal or not. Then you want to calculate the differences, uh, remove any zeros, rank the absolute differences, assign signs to the ranks, sum the signed ranks, and then find the test statistic. We'll go through each of these in the next few slides uh, through this example, right? So we're going to take a look at a uh, ultra marathon example. Surprise, surprise, if you watch other videos. Uh, this one we're going to be covering maximum miles of uh, first 100 time or 100 mile ultra runners. So you usually want to have a peak mile week before the race, usually about a month or so uh, before it. So and these are the, the the miles, right? 90, 55, 60, 80, 52, 45, 58, 53, 47, and 72. And the hypothesized median is for first time runners of the 100 mile, uh, the median is about 60. So the null hypothesis, the median number of miles run by first time 100 mile race runners is equal to 60. The alternative, the median number miles is different from 60. And, it, and since uh, we didn't specify the tail, it could be any direction, right? Uh, we're also gonna assume that this is non-normal. So we're not gonna do the Shapiro Wilk, but I'll show you in Python a little bit later, one line of code. And again, I have a video on that. So if you wanna learn a lot more about Shapiro Wilk, how that works, check that out. Uh, this is not the video for it. All right, so uh, we have all those miles here on the left. Then we're gonna subtract 60 and then find the difference um my peak week also for my recent 100 miler i think i was around like 65 miles or so um ran a lot more than that before but uh, for this training block so that's why kind of why i went around 60 ish okay so uh 90 minus 60 30 55 minus 60 negative 5 60 60 0 i'm not gonna go through all these but you get the point right subtract each by 60 you get a positive or negative number or zero um, then we're going to remove the zeros. So that line was 60. Yeah, that's going to be gone. And uh, then we're going to rank these with the absolute differences and then assign uh, signs to the ranks. Uh, so let me show you how that specifically works. So you have all these differences here, right? Then we take the absolute value. Absolute value just makes it positive if it's negative, right? You can see negative 5 turns to 5. Negative 8 turns to 8. Okay. Now we rank all of these over here. That's a third column. Uh, ranks 1 through 9. Uh, we used to have 10. But uh, you know, the zero is gone, so that's no longer in our ranks. And then we assign a signed rank. So 30, since that difference is positive, it's a plus. A negative 5, since that's a negative, we have a negative rank over there. And that's how we have that signed rank column, right? Uh, initially, the difference is negative. We assign a negative sign. If it's positive, we just put a plus. Now we need to calculate the sum of the positive and negative ranks. So we add up all the positive, so 9, 8, and 5, we get 22. Then we do the negatives, right? We get negative 23. Now the test statistic W is going to be the absolute value of W plus, W minus, and whatever smaller, right? So W plus is only 22. So the 
minimum is 22, and that's going to be our W to test statistic. And that's going to be our Will Coxon signed rank test, right? We get W equals 22. Uh, the p-value that's associated with that is going to be 1. And since the p-value is much greater than the significance level of alpha 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. The result suggests there is no statistically significant evidence that the median miles run by first 100 mile race runners is different from the hypothesized median of 60 miles. And uh, that was a mouthful, but probably should have specified my alpha a little bit earlier on. I don't think I did on the slide, so apologize for that. But regardless, that kind of shows you the steps. Uh, we'll go through one manual example in Python, straight shortcuts with SciPy, make this way easier, but I feel like we need to have at least a little bit of understanding. So get your notebook ready and uh, let's start coding. All right, so let's get started. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say from scipy.stats import oxen and then import numpy as np. And once we have those, we are off to the races. Let's also set up our alpha value. So alpha equals 0 0.05. Let's just keep it like that for this video. Awesome. So. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to set up our miles. So we'll say miles equals np.array and then pass in all of our different miles. So uh, this is uh, the same from our slides. I'm just going to paste this over here. 90, 55, 60, 80, 52, 55, 58, 53, 47, and also 72. Of that, then let's set up our median. So we'll say hypothesized median equals 60. Then up next is we're gonna calculate the differences. So we'll say differences equals miles minus this hypothesized median. And just to show you that this is those differences, I'll just print that out. You can see, right, that lines up with what we had on our slides. Then what we want to do next is have non-zero differences. So we'll say non-zero differences equals differences. So right over here, I'll say differences not equal to zero. All right, and that will remove that zero. And just to show you that, that there, you can see the zero is now gone. Now we need to get the absolute on these and also rank them. So we'll say ABS differences equals NP.ABS and pass in our non-zero differences like that. And then uh, again, if we wanna see what this looks like, we can just print this out. So print, so the differences like that. You can see these are all positive now and we had some negatives there, but we're good on the positive side of things. All right, um, now we need to rank these. So we'll say ranks equals NP dot arg sort and then set over here np dot arg sort apps differences then outside we'll say plus one right and uh print out these ranks so print all of our ranks and you can see nine is attached to 30 five is two uh, over here two is going to be mapped to one, seven, three, six, five, right? And now we need to separate all of our ranks. So the way we do that is we have positive and negative ranks. So positive ranks equals ranks. We'll pass in non zero differences, greater than zero. And then we're gonna do the same thing for negative, except reverse it. So negative and just flip the sign over here. So run that, so run that. And then now to show you these working, prints out our positive ranks, right? Nine, eight, and five. 
which should line up with what I had on the slide. And uh, we'll print out the negative ranks. You'll see two, four, seven, one, three, and six. Okay. Now we need to calculate the sum of the positive ranks and negative ranks. We'll see sum positive ranks equals np dot sum pass in positive ranks right and then uh we do the same thing for our negative ranks let me actually move that line some negative pass in our negative ranks and also let's print those out after and on with these. Hopefully all this is making sense for you guys. Trust me, it'll be way easier once we use SciPy. But 22 over here, some negative ranks. This should be 23. Awesome. And then our test statistic is going to be the minimum of these, right? So test statistic equals minimum. And then just post both of these in here. Paste. Um, It'll be 22. We can print out our test statistic. Although I already told you what it's going to be. That's 22. Okay. Now to get the p-value, unfortunately, you're going to have to use the SciPy shortcut. Can't get it from here. So uh, just to show you also my math was correct going through all these steps in Python. Uh, what we'll do is just say our statistic and our p-value equals locks in non zero differences all the way from earlier right and uh we can print out both these so we want to make sure this statistic over here is equal to 22 that means i did all my math correct you can see 22 slides and also over here and then uh we can print out our p-value and that's actually where i got the p-value from right you can see p-value is going to be one. And what I like to do sometimes in these videos is have an if else statement. So if p-value is less than alpha, reject the null hypothesis, the median max miles run is significantly different from 50. Else fail to reject the null hypothesis. There's enough data to support the median is right. So we have that over here and we fail to reject. There's not enough evidence. And that makes sense because of our p-value being one. All right, so let's take a look at our second example. And what we're going to do for this one over here is take a look at concert ticket sales. Uh, so we'll say example two, concert ticket sales. I just saw a power trip got announced for a festival in Florida. And let's take a look at power trips ticket sales. So power trip ticket sales. And uh, what I do is just paste in these ticket sales that I already have over here. I just made sure that these um, don't line up with a normal distribution. So 350, 300, 250, 450, 150, 2300, 2000, 350, 900, 1450, 1200, 2250, 800, 1350, and 400. If you are following along with the video, right? So I'll run those over here. And we'll say the hypothesized median in this case is going to be a thousand. Oh, I pasted it. I should have just typed it up. Um, but okay, let's say it's a thousand, right? Let's go through this. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the normality. So I told you guys a little bit about Shapiro a little bit earlier. So how oh, you can import it in, you can say from scipy.stats import Shapiro. And I have a full video on Shapiro. That's that. And then what we can do is stat, and then we can say, I uh, should Piro P value, Piro P value equals Shapiro. And then just pass in these ticket sales over here. And if we get a P value under 0 0.05 is not normally distributed. And uh, you can see it's 0 0.03. Again, I made sure that it was gonna be under 0 0.05. And uh, I like using this if else statement, right? The data is not normally distributed. Reject show. Um, it's just Shapiro p value is greater than alpha, normally distributed, otherwise not normally distributed. So now what we can do 
is we can run the Wilcoxon uh, one sample. And the way we can do this first is set up our centered sales. So we'll say centered sales equals our ticket sales minus our hypothesized median. We have this over here. Okay. And then what we'll do next is we'll say stats and then p value equals Wilcoxon. And then we'll say centered sales. And then we can print out both our statistic and our p-value. So we have our test statistic over here, which is 53.5. Then our p-value, right? And our p-value in this case is 0.71. I like doing is our classic if else. So fail to reject the null hypothesis. There is not enough evidence to say the median audience size is different from 1000. And you can look over here, right? You can see I have a lot that are pretty low, 350, 300, 250. Let's say they're playing some dive bars. And then you have some bigger ones over here, 2300, 2000, maybe like House of Blues type style venues, uh, which is band could do both of those. Although I prefer to see them in the small venue like that, but that's no longer the case. But yeah, that's essentially the one sample Wilcoxon signed rank test. Just remember the, if you want to test for normality, right, Ren Shapiro, and then pass in your centered values over here with Wilcoxon, and that's it. Um, it's not even too bad if you want to go step by step and do it manually, but why do that when you have a shortcut with SciPy? And anyways, if you want to get your p-value, you have to go through SciPy uh, regardless, unless you just wanted your test statistic. But yeah, that's essentially it. Well, that's the video for the one sample Wilcoxon signed rank test. Hope you guys found a ton of value from it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, if you want to learn even more about other statistical tests, I have some videos linked down below in the description, and I have a full Python statistics playlist right here on the screen that you guys should check out.